Hi, I'm Pradiksha. I'm actually an architect uh, turned XR designer. And uh, so right now I'm into XR designing. So uh, I create uh, environ uh, environments and uh, asset creation and concept, concept ideation, design management process in the XR. What inspired you to pursue your career in XR? So my first intro with XR would be in 2017. So I wanted to create a, an app actually where my client could walk in into a space and then uh, choose between materials for their room color or uh, what type of furniture they wanted. So what I created was an architectural walkthrough app. So that was done in Unreal. Back then I didn't know it was VR or anything. I just came to know that this can be done in Unreal. So I just uh, gave it a go and it did happen. So then after that, it was during COVID when I saw a, a work of an uh, Amsterdam based uh, new media artist called Ronald Knoll. He had created a real time interactive, uh, uh, interactive visual, which was very intriguing. I just didn't understand how it worked. So then I did some research and came to know it was done in Unity. And that's how I came to know about Unity and then started doing research, like how to become an XR designer. So I used to go visit job profiles and see like work backwards, went into the job profiles and so saw what they needed from a candidate for being an XR designer. The, that's where I learned about those various tools. So I created a checklist and started learning each of those softwares like that. Were there any specific challenges you faced as a woman entering in this field? Uh, I wouldn't say I faced any woman, as in, you know, being a woman, I didn't face any challenges as such. But because coming from a designer background, uh, and XR is heavily loaded with coding and all of that. So that is a challenging part for me from coming from a designer background. It's like a mountain I'm trying to scale like from my initial days to learn coding. And yeah, I hope I scale that one day. What factors do you believe contribute to a lower presence of women in the XR industry? Initially, when I started off, when I was looking out for workshops, so there was a workshop conducted in IIT Madras for professionals, VR and AR foundations workshop. There were like professionals from all over India who were trying to participate in it, like some thousand, thousand candidacy. And out of which they selected 40 students to come and have a one day, one week session at IIT Madras campus. So I was one among the 40 to get selected. And then when I saw the ratio between women and men who were being, who were there, uh, it was around uh, 20 to 80 percent of so but here is not just IT there were scientists from ISRO scientists to you know HAL uh, operators from HAL everywhere all over uh, the the department from where people were coming from were from uh, engineering background education background then some scientists were also there and some architects like me as well thing is uh, the participation not be just being selected but even the participation was also in that ratio 20% or 25% women and then so basically it is from the women's side that they need to have some awareness what is happening in the world and you know so how we could bring in awareness is like introducing this, these concepts in maybe in school or colleges or so that people will know and uh, they have the opportunity to participate because when I work on my oculus I see my daughter being very excited about it so any curious mind as a kid male or female they are very curious so i think if you can introduce these concepts in a very young age then i think you know this ratio of women and men would definitely decrease over the years yeah how do you think tech industry is evolved in terms of diversity and inclusion from my professional uh, or my i have about a decade experience in design as you know architectural design management itself so and from that concept what i've always seen is when an idea com comes from a woman, it's not taken that seriously, but when a similar idea comes from a man, it is taken def considered immediately. So it is only the mindset which has to change from, uh, you know, from your peers point of view or your seniors point. So there's basically a mindset change. When that changes, you know, there's uh, that inclusivity of diverse, you know, the diverse thing comes in immediately. What steps do you think organizations can take in order to create more inclusive and supportive environments for women in tech. There's a deep learning curve in XR and you have to put in a lot of time to learn and then practice as well. And these tools are also very expensive. So I think what would be very encouraging for, you know, especially females, they won't spend money on it, you know, on stuff if, if, when they, unless and until they get out something from it. 
so if organizations if they could you know sponsor for this uh, you know online courses or anything step in there and then also maybe provide these tools like you know oculus or quest or whatever they want to experiment with you can provide these tools to them i think that would be very motivating for them at least you know maybe start off with curiosity and we can have in more people joining lastly what advice would you give to women who are aspiring to enter or advance in the xr industry so my advice would be is xr is a new thing which is coming up it is an emerging technology and each week there is some new updation some new tool something which keeps coming up so my advice would be if you want to be in the forefront of this emerging technology you have to keep learning updating yourself on this technology because what you work on work on you know or use a particular tool or a particular sdk this week to really get outdated the next week so you have to keep updating yourself that is a important thing and uh, guys generally they do that out of curiosity but i think even women should get into that thing and keep themselves abreast you know of all these emerging techniques and everything i think then we will give a good fight thank you for this actually beautiful initiative and uh, making us part of this as well